let's be honest. It doesn't really get much bigger than this. Manchester City taking on Manchester United. I made some changes to the team. No RVP. What the hell you doing, skills? Hashtag skills out. Nah, calm down. I'm going with the young Rodrigo. Rooney's in there. Young Valencia, Fletcher, and Valbuena. That's making up the midfield. Defense is the same. Vidic, Garay, Juanfran, and Evra Vorman goal. We kept the defense the same. I'm showing a lot of confidence in the young Spanish man, Rodrigo. Putting him into a match like this, into a big game like this, especially coming off some good results. 1-3-1 or 4-1 in the Capital One game. Wait, 4-0, right, in the Capital One game. Then we tied against Napoli, which a tie wasn't too bad because Napoli's a good City of Odd team. So... Feeling pretty good about this game. Definitely seeing the season turning around and us starting to pick up some good results. But the game starts off bad because in the 14th minute, wow, Jovatitz hit me with a super soggy cheerio. I thought he was going to keep going straight. He busted a ookie dookie, did a little spin move, put it into the corner, and I couldn't really do nothing about it. Jovatic made me look like a dummy. Skills learned to defend, I know. I'm actually looking for FIFA 14 tutorials on the internet right now. So, anyways, they score first. They get another chance the 18th minute, but beautiful save from Vorm keeping us in this massive, massive game. We go to the 22nd minute where Valencia does an over-the-top through pass to the young Spanish boy, Rodrigo. He smashes it. And Hart. Hart came up with a nice save. I actually thought the young Spanish kid was going to put it into the back of the net. Unlucky for Rodrigo. Could have got his first goal with the squad. Beautiful over-the-top through pass from Rodrigo. Look at Young! Woo! Now put Young into the lineup. Took out Tehran. Gave, gave all my faith and confidence. I put it into Young. I said, you go do your thing, boy. You go show me why I kept you during the transfer window. And he said, I'm going to teach you how to thuggy. I'm going to show you how to whoop it Gundam style. And he went in there and did his thing, man. Put it into the back of the net. Young put us back into the game. Y'all, right before halftime, we kept the pedal to the metal. 44th minute, I sent it to Fletcher. Fletcher's looking for a pass. He finds Young. Young swings it up to the Young Rodrigo. Rodrigo finds Fletcher on a beautiful pass, and you don't get, you don't get more unlucky than that. Right before halftime, we could have went into the half up 2-1. The ball hit the post. Hart grabbed the rebound and unlucky for Fletcher. I believe this might be like his first or maybe even his second game playing for the team. Now, decided at halftime to change the formation. Their formation was countering my formation, so I went to a 4-4-2 flat. The flat midfield lined up perfectly. CMs, right mid, left mid. Kept the players pretty much the same. Brought in Wayne Rooney, but I wanted to just change it up and see if this would work. Then I thought to myself... Well, maybe I made a mistake. Na 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 na. No thinking like that. I don't make mistakes. You, you, you got to keep your confidence on a high. Yes, we suffered a goal right away to Jovatic. Yes, he was murdering us, but I knew we had to keep on fighting. So Wayne Rooney gets up in the air, gets up over everybody. And Wayne Rooney tucks that one home in the 69th minute. This man shows up in big games, it seems like. Wayne Rooney gets us back into the match, 2-2, wonderful, wonderful Manchester Derby right now, over the top, through pass over to RVP, yes, I brought him into the game, the cross into the middle from RVP, and Wayne Rooney, up in the air, looking like Batman, just, just over everybody, looking like Superman, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Rooney, jumps over everybody, tucks it into the bottom corner, maybe the top corner, not bottom corner, I got that right, and Wayne Rooney gives us the lead 3-2 here, RVP, one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper, I ain't gotta say no more, you know what's coming, booyah, Wayne RVP, <laughs> I almost failed in his name, RVP tucks that one home, ladies and gentlemen, 4-2, 90th minute, we're trying to pick up another one and embarrass the Manchester City side, but they actually are going to pull one back. Agueto with a beautiful over-the-top through pass. Couldn't really defend that. Tried to get him off the ball with Evra, but he tucks that one home. Nobody fear. The 90th minute whistle is here. Guys, we're going to walk out of here with a big, a very, 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 very big three points in this season. We started the season off shaky. We started off in a position, and everybody was saying, Skills, you're not playing right with Manchester United. You used the wrong wrong formation. You bought the wrong players. But stuff's starting to come together. Big 4-3 win. You're probably saying, Skills, you're suffering too many goals. I know I got to clean up my defense a little bit. I know I got to sharpen it up, and I'll get it together. Here, the next Capital One Cup game, I decided, yo, I ain't playing this. I ain't playing Capital One. I'm simming this. And they missed the penalty, so they could have been winning. I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't have sent this. But Garay, the man we brought in from Benfica, gets up there and wins a header. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a header. I don't know what it was, but I don't see him scoring with his feet. So with his head, I'm taking. Tehran scores a bicycle kick from 50 yards out. 
You can't say he didn't. It could have happened. 50 yard bicycle kick, it's, it's possible if the goalkeeper has a heart attack. It's possible though. So we move on to our next BPL match. I didn't see the lineup. Oh wait, that's because I'm about to show you the lineup. My bad. So the lineup I put out for this game was Welbeck. Oh, the young Welbeck making into starting 11. As you can see, Rodrigo and Rodri uh, Rodrigo and Rodriguez are like my favorite players right now. I put Rodrigo behind Welbeck and I put Rodriguez on the wing. And you're probably saying, Skills, why do you keep leaving RVP and Wayne Rooney out of the lineup? I actually left them out of this lineup because they were tired from the Capital One Cup game. But I put Rodrigo or Rodriguez playing the wing because in FIFA 13, he was a winger. And in real life, he could play the wing. So I decided, yeah, he could play the wing in the game then. So I threw him up on that left wing instead of Young or um, Tehran. I threw him up there. Fellaini made it into the starting 11. And Fellaini with a beautiful over the top through pass to the young Spanish boy, Rodrigo. And Fellaini. Yes. You see that booyah? He wins the ball from the midfield. He puts a beautiful pass to Rodrigo. Rodrigo scuffs it and misses it. But Fellaini with the OP afro sticks it into the back of the net. I swing it to Sinji. Kagawa. Nice move from him to get by the defender. A smash. The keeper saves it. Fellaini back on it again. And look at his goal, yo. I almost missed. Let's not talk about the miss. I mean, if I'd have missed there, y'all would have probably unsubscribed or something. I scored, though. It was close to going out. I almost pooed myself. Look how close that is to going out. But Shinji Kagawa comes up with another goal. And we're up 2-0 at halftime. See, it's coming together. Hey, I just took a little bit. I told you I had to get a little bit to learn how to play with Wayne Rooney and RVP and the formation and stuff. And I finally feel good. I feel good with the way I'm playing with Manchester United. And there has that not a penalty. You tell me how that's not a penalty. This is the second time in two episodes that they should have given us a penalty. That's not. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought that was a penalty against Welbeck. I put a beautiful over the top through pass to Rodrigo. And his first goal from Manchester United. Mother suckers. Booyah, baby, for Rodrigo, the young man that came from Benfica. Why do I keep calling him the young man, yo? He's just he's Rodrigo. Just call him that. It's just Rodrigo. That's it. Rodrigo, that's his name. He scores, making it 3-0 in the 61st minute. And I got to show you this play, man. I want you to watch this sexy play from the AI. Look at that back heel. That's not me flapping. That's me. Wait, fapping. That's me clapping. That goal is sexy. That back heel. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could score goals like the AI. That is beautiful. Absolutely sexy goal, but it's not going to matter. 3-1. to one. We go to Manchester United. No, excuse me. We go to Man City. We win 4-3. We play against Westbourne. We win 3-1. I'm just saying, yo. Y'all were saying hashtag skills out. Hashtag skills better than Mourinho. Hashtag skills better than Fergie. Hashtag skills better than, better than David Beckham. Hashtag skills better than Figu. Hashtag skills better than Messi. No more hashtags. I'm actually done. That, th this is BS, yo. I send the Champions League in because I'm just trying to go through the BPL. And next gen's like knocking on my door. It's like right around the corner. So we almost lost this game. But RVP scored. Tehran scored. Tehran actually scored a scorpion kick. And RVP, RVP scored a bicycle kick from our goal, from our goal box. I swear. All the way. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying these things. Guys, next gen so close. I cannot wait. Make sure to subscribe. It's been your boy AA9Skills. And I hope you guys are enjoying this career mode because I'm having so much fun making it. I'll see you guys next time.